This is Jackie with All Access, and I'm here with Joel of Wretched, and we are here at the Virginia Stop of Mayhem Festival. Now, you guys have been a band for about nine years or so. Um, what do you attribute to your band's longevity? Uh, we just all love doing it. It's amazing. This is like the greatest thing in the world. And, and even more so now that we're doing something like Mayhem, this is just amazing, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Just, just love doing it. What are the benefits of playing a big festival like Mayhem? Just, God, the networking. Just so, so many people to meet, so many people to, you know, just help you move along in your career. And, you know, doing stuff like this. We're doing, <laughs> you know, we have a press area that we're walking into. We've been touring for seven years now, and, you know, we never do anything like this. So this is, this is just awesome for us. Hanging out in the shade, enjoying a nice little breeze, enjoying it. So how, do you, how does your band make sure that you leave a lasting impression with all the fans here? Uh, well, I can tell you a, a great example of that for today. For whatever reason, our other guitarist, Steven, it, well, it was his birthday two days ago, and he threw on a Spider-Man suit that we had for some reason. Anyways, the, so the past two days that we've played, he's played in the Spider-Man suit. So that's one one little little way that we've been uh, leaving a lasting impression for sure. But uh, other than that, it's just giving it 100%. Every, every time that we go and play a show, it doesn't matter if we're playing for 4,000 people like we just did or for 15 at some small club in Nowheresville, you know, we just give it everything. So that's, that's that. So do you prefer playing at big festivals, outdoor festivals like this, or would you prefer a, a smaller club gig inside? They, there's pros and cons to, to, to both of those. So uh, the pros for this is that we're playing to 4,000 people. <laughs> The pros for the indoor shows are that it's air conditioned and uh, you can hear everything a little better. But yeah, the you know good and bad. Air conditioning, love air conditioning. Um, your latest release, "Son of Perdition." Um, is there a song that best represents your sound, or that you want all the kids that are walking by like that's the song? If they stop and listen, that's what they have to hear. Our actually our latest release is "Cannibal." It just came out a month and a half ago. Okay, you got me. So gotcha. But um, yeah, uh, we're playing songs from all of our albums. That's our four, Cannibal is our fourth album. So we're playing stuff off Son of Perdition. We're playing stuff off Cannibal and then the, the first two as well. So, um, and it's, it's just dependent on, on where the fans have come into our musical career. Like there, there's people that come out to each show that have been with us since the beginning, since you know, our first LP in 2009 that just want to hear the first album and some people just want to hear the second album. So what we're doing every day is literally playing uh, at least a song from every album. So just trying to keep giving everybody what they want. How would you say your sound has evolved through the years? Uh, just keeps getting heavier for whatever reason. I don't know where that comes from because it seems like when people get older, they want to chill out a little bit more. But for whatever reason, we just get more and more aggressive. So Cannibal is easily our most aggressive release to date. And you mentioned you normally as you get older, you get less aggressive. But uh, teens often turn to music when things get tough. Um, why do you think that is? There's, well, teens are very uh, hormonally driven. I mean, you know, everyone is all the time, but especially in your teens. I mean, think about when you were 14 years old. Things are going crazy and you don't know what's going on. So... You try and find something crazy like death metal to listen to. So I think that's that's all it is. Just hormones, puberty. What music did you turn to? Oh, I started off with a lot of like silly punk rock stuff, like no effects and rancid and stuff like that. And I still love it to this day. But again, as I got older, it just needed to get more aggressive. So death metal it was. And you wonder why your band has gone in that direction as well. <laughs> exactly. I, yep. It's, it just keeps going. It's just exponentially more and more, more that way. So when we were probably a bit younger, um, record sales, album sales were sort of the benchmark of a band's rate of success. Yep. How do you judge success for your band now? Unfortunately, the industry still, uh, judges it by that, that benchmark. It's totally silly. Um, but um, I don't know. It's it's so tough with social media, and, and you, there's just so many different outlets for people to do, like check you out. And uh, I I don't really know one specific benchmark. You know, it's just the the, the shows that we play are are definitely a good good uh, good way to judge those things. So just responses every day. And as long as you have fun, I'm sure that helps as well. And we have fun every time. Excellent. So what's up next for Wretched After Mayhem? We are still working on a couple tours. Um, 
we, I mean, like I said, we just put out Cannibal a month and a half ago, so we're trying to road dog it and stay out as much as possible. Um, we're working on another full U.S. and then hopefully getting over to Europe as soon as possible. Excellent. Well, stay tuned for much more from Wretched. This is Jackie. Thanks to All Access and In the Key of Change.